you're going to end up picking up another one. And that's two in the first half. And you may be regulated to sitting down on the bench next to your coaches. Dickinson gets free inside. 18 to play. Wagner. The roll by Dickinson. Layup goes. Dickinson making a big impact. Off that 20-point game against Penn State. The feed inside finds him on the low block. The tip falls for Dickinson. He may have missed the livers, but he stayed active in the game. There's Dickinson inside. Beautiful pass. Nice yeah, beautiful slam. pass of Dickinson with a nice finish. <laughs> you worked on that one and you nailed it. That was really good. <laughs> oh, jeez. Gotta take pride in yourself, man. Watch you do. Swoop it in for two more. Back iron tipped by Kalsher won't go. And the rebound saved for Michigan. What a play by Livers. <laughs> Dickinson driving to the... Looking to carry that momentum here today into the Chrysler Center. Smith double teamed into Dickinson and Dickinson lays it up and in. Gotta be Scott, it's gotta be Ayala. Smith gives it up too easy. Dickinson with under two minutes to go. Nice little move by Jawan. Little switch. Bounce it. Dickinson leans in. Bucket and a foul. Death by Mike Smith, number one assist man in the Big Ten Conference. Smith does a great job. What a dish. Oh, what a play. They will run out ball screen. You've got to play your own guy or they will find like that. Smith to Dickinson. When played against each other, and as Dick said, during the lockdown in the summer months, they worked out together frequently. They are good friends, but Hunter Dickinson said yesterday in a Zoom call with a... 69 to 55, Michigan. Now Dickinson, quick turn on the baseline, gets to the hole, lays it in, and him coming from the Ivy League. Wow. Dickinson, another rebound. Now Hunter Dickinson has 11 points and six boards. Here's Bogdan. Look at that wraparound pass. Are you kidding me? With how they defend and the fact that they don't turn it over. Wagner, great pass. What a pretty feed to Dickinson in that late roll. In their film study, done a great job. Screening, moving, overloading. Here's the same thing here. Take it down. Oh, oh, how about that pass? Screens. You better communicate on those screens. Little screens. Try to fight to get over the top. Very tough. Dickinson uh, throws it down off the right now. I'll tell you one thing. Michigan State's going to have to really regroup. They get another shot against Michigan. will be at their place. They can't handle them. In... Now, where is Michigan going to find a spark? Here's Eli Brooks, the leader, the captain. Oh, oh wow. Dickinson, Dickinson counted and a foul. Livers. It's a good look, though, for Penn State. Oh, great pass. Nice pass. Dickinson with us. Michigan fans for decades. Their son Chad is a Michigan man. Which went to undergrad and law school there. So big ups to the Raven family. They showed tonight they may be one of the most balanced teams in all of college basketball. What a feat. Yeah, Banton has great size at 6'9". As I mentioned, he played a lot of point guard at Nebraska for Fred Horberg. Austin Jr. having himself a game. We're going to pick and roll with Dickinson. Gets on the inside, right up and over Huff. Lays it in. He had 10, as we mentioned, in the first half. There you see Dickinson again using his girth on the inside. He gets a little jump hooked. To and people are probably pretty familiar with this story. Started out at Georgetown, and then transferred to Texas Tech. Was productive there as Hunter Dickinson gets the ball inside. He gets the bucket and a foul. Michigan back to now a lineup that has four starters plus Condi Brown. Only Brooks not on the floor right now out of the starting five. Loves that right oh, set him up. Has not attempted a field goal yet, has seven rebounds. Despite the two missed free throw attempts, he's a 72% shooter at the line. There's an attempt. Just a sophomore, Tyler Wall, 6'9. Does a lot of little things for Wisconsin. Dickinson to catch and the score for his guy like Dickinson and your head coach is Jawan Howard.
you know, who had played 19 years as a big guy in the NBA and, of course, played for the Fab Five as well. Imagine. He's dangerous out there on the perimeter. Stretches the D, gets entry passes to the post. Dickinson guarded by Jackson Davis. Backs him down across the lane. Drop step left hand off the glass. Dump it down. Dickinson. Repost. Dickinson turns to that dominant hand. And a south six point advantage for Michigan. And the entry to Dickinson. Quick spin, quick hook. Not, not fouling, but being big there defensively. Nice entry pass. Makes that right shoulder. And why not when you get a little kiss on his clean look at a three? Yeah, uh, one of the few defensive breakdowns we've seen with Michigan tonight. And Carr good enough to make him pay. Here goes Dickinson again. Backing down, Buttrick and one. From game to game on the defensive end. They're capable. Dickinson calling for it. He's got it. Turn around with the left hand. Cal should get, get going offensively. It takes a lot of pressure off Marcus Carr. Richard Pitino told us earlier today, Kalsher's trending in the right direction. Six of his last 16 from three, and a beautiful spin by Hunter Dickinson on the baseline. And games being postponed and canceled all over the country. You're thankful for any game you get. You're good. There's Livers. Dante Scott standing his ground. Now Dickinson, left hand, and one. Yeah, under a minute to go, only five points separating them. Yeah, I think with that uh, vertical lead, Mac McClung's a good guy to watch. Well, Dickinson, low block, drop step move off of the left hand and good. Is definitely without a doubt one of the five best. So is Garza right here in this game. So that would be an enormous loss for the Illini if that injury were to linger into the postseason. And when you come off that rub screen, he just rolls right in the middle of the lane. It's four round one. And he's been dominant in that set. Dickinson, who sat for a few minutes with two fouls. In a game like this, low scoring first half. Tiger Campbell comes out, hits the first bucket for UCLA. Opens up a six-point lead. Dickinson working on Riley. Remember. Started by Comagoon. Dickinson trying to post up down on the block and gets it. The freshman. When you can't find your rhythm. Dickinson back to work again. What impresses you about the Michigan offense? Dan? Well, right now, nothing because they're dribbling it too much. But I like the way they brought it back. And Dickinson just went in. Michigan operating crystal right now. Dickinson with a spin on the Easter Andre. And Dickinson is just a handful. Gotta be your stars. It's players, not plays right now. Working on Scott. Here's Dickinson. Spins to the left, and that's his bread and butter. First half battle of the bigs. The freshman got the better of the big man for Minnesota. Dickinson is number two in points, number one in rebounding. The guy leading him in scoring, Isaiah Livers, who has the only bucket so far. But here's Dickinson going to work with a left. Dickinson wants the ball, man. He wants the ball. You can't let him come across that lane. You can't let him come across. He wants to go. There he is again. You can't allow that. And give a big touch to Davis. Lander. He's got a lot of enthusiasm for a freshman, but he's shooting 28% from the three-point line. Inside Dickinson. And a left hand. They got to get Wagner going, don't they? Got to get somebody going. Yeah. The ball's not moving for Michigan. That, that's part of the problem. He was 10 of 14 in that victory this past week. Well scouted by Penn State that time. Eli Brooks at the controls here. Back inside. The bench, Dickinson working on Nuba. And the lefty scores it. That's his spot. Got the whole NCAA tournament. And one thing that we've been told is, you know, we hope we get there. You know what I mean? We hope we get there. Look at this. NCAA birth, and that game becomes big. Andrew Dickinson back in the game. He exited after picking up one foul. Michigan looking to stay undefeated. One of four undefeated top 25 teams. Dickinson, two feet in the paint, unstoppable. 
and they withstood it because of the defense, but how much right. more of that can you do? None. Dickinson spinning for two. Su ciudad donde juegan, así que esto recién comienza los dos. Y hay que ser más estrictos, ¿no? Uno mismo tiene que hacerlo. Tells Brown, go get him. Dickinson posted up at TN. The freshman. And Dickinson is fouled. Got help from Jaquez. He has nine points. Good. Oh, nice pass. And Dickinson finishes it off. Players all the time. So to me, that certainly kind of lessens the burden when you jump to the college level. Dickinson inside and the foul. Who played in the NBA for 13 years, mainly with the Lakers. There's a champion, here comes Brooks on the wing. Bunger had to bring that dribble over a little more to get this entry pass to the big guy. And Liddell. Well, we talked about Daryl Morcell not being available for the Terps. He is now conspicuously absent. Up with Williams, and can Williams keep on the floor? His first halves have been a real problem of the last four games with fouls. Right inside it goes to Dickinson. Dickinson has it inside, and he muscles his way for two, and the foul! Here's Wagner, inside Dickinson, too easy. Dickinson down low. Livers will step back, Liddell's out there on him, Young is on Dickinson. Down low, they got Mike Smith. Oh, Dickinson is there. In the thicket. Oh, my goodness. You may miss kindergarten. Yes. So Liddell. Little pickups. The foul. Nice. Then Michigan went on another run. There's that high low look again. Wagner taking away his right. Nice pass. Nice pass. Dickinson dumps it down. Thompson with the block. Seven to shoot. Inside Dickinson. So I'm in good shape. <laughs> Mike Smith, Corbin, pumping it off with a two-hand flush for Hunter Dickinson. Beautiful work from Smith to Dickinson. Probing inside, kicking it back out. Bogger this time, attacking the rim, dropping it off for Dickinson. How many times have we seen that tonight? $100,000, and we matched it, and we're putting that money towards the V Foundation to battle that disease. Dickinson inside throws. 75% shooting in this half for Michigan. Five pass. Another high percentage shot coming. Yeah, foul first. Put my own in there. Dirk's one legged fade. That's right. <laughs> Huge you're, your favorite player. I was about to say, if it's not obvious enough, I, I'm a big fan of that. So that's where my that's why I'm not voting in this poll. Coming in. 13 points of Penn State on Thursday. Nice pass and entry, but the big fella doesn't finish. Dickinson tries to get it three times a charm, right? Getting this defense to shift before they attack. Well, there they go. They got the switch they want. There you go. To Dickinson. Second one goes. Nice transpired. Got a team on the rise right now with the Big Ten. Very quietly, Maryland has won four in a row. And they're putting together a very good resume. Indiana had what could be. Sonny Washington from Michigan. Chris Hunter, the kid up top. On the right-hand side, second row, played at Michigan. Terrific player out of Gary, Indiana. Trying to extend a six-point lead for the Wolverines with nine minutes to go. Smith, no. Dickinson. Do they count it? Yes, they do. There you go. That good execution there. 2-0 in conference play. Dickinson able to save the turnover. Livers the extra pass. Bogner all alone with three to shoot. The three won't go. Dickinson offensive rebound. Put back and a foul. Around with Bob Knight. Them kind of the administrative things. Bogner inside. And Wilk can't reverse it. Dickinson with the strong rebound and stick back. He's got suing on him. Now to Brooks. Shot clock at three. Floats and fouls. It's good. That is not a surprise. The families of the players have now started to come to games in Ann Arbor as the three off the front of the rim won't go. Offensive rebound for Dickinson, and he'll put it back. They overheld kick. Bakker will launch. Dickinson taps. 
Runs of Garcia working. Gets the switch. Garcia open for three. Fires away. And that's no good for Garcia. Marcus Carr, though, gets the offensive rebound. Down low to Garcia once more. Dickinson on him. And that's going to be blocked by Dickinson. That was good work all the way around by Hunter Dickinson. He was switched out onto a smaller player, was able to recover on Garcia and contest the three-point shot. And then he contests on the inside. Couldn't get the layup to go there. Yep. They are ranked third in the nation. Of course, Gonzaga and Baylor have been one two the entire season. Both of them still undefeated. Garza again trying to back down Dickinson, and the kid got him again. Isaiah Dickinson, he's giving him a fit, and then he goes back the other end, and look at that strength. Garza from D.C., Dickinson from Alexandria, Virginia. They played in the same AAU program. Now, obviously, about three years apart, but they got to know each other. They played against each other. The concern, of course, is, you know, quickness at the defensive yeah. end, so much athleticism in the NBA, but you're, you're not going to outwork Luka Garza. That we know. Jump hook off the glass. Tape over there to try to uh, put his name on. Still he, got it. <laughs> he was he was a late addition to the G League Elite Camp, uh, Elite Camp, and obviously they didn't have his jersey ready. But he doesn't care as long as the scouts know who he is. They know number twelve. Get off balance, not Michigan. Even the big man is trying to do it. Potter against Dickinson. Rebound Wolverines. It was incredible. Five foot two. And list them at 5-3, NBA 14 years. Marble on the reverse, that won't go. That's a great observation, Stephen, and that is, if you can't have respect as a basketball player for your head coach when he's Juwan Howard, you're not going to have a lot of respect for anybody. You are, uh, and how determined you are. You never let a day go by, and, and uh, so many people owe you a debt of gratitude. Garza on Dickinson. Really playing. How about Javante Smart? Nine point great out of bounds play there. Nine points, five assists. And obviously, no turnovers. Good defense there by Hunter Dickinson. Get somebody in the middle of the zone, overload the side, look opposite, find Trice, and you'll be in business. Ball down low against the big man, had his shot blocked. Hannon are both in the top 10 in assist to turnover ratio this year, and C.J. Frederick blows both of them away, but he doesn't have enough assists to qualify as Garza gets inside. Man had no chance. Delivers the numbers have been relatively modest. His head coach, Juwan Howard, says he's just been playing great. It was terrific. Had some great plays in the game against Ohio State on Sunday. Garza over Dickinson, can't get it to go. Good defensive play on the interior by Garza. He wants the ball right now. Waited too long. If you need a post, there's a lost art. Get the ball to the interior. You got to hit the guy at the right time. Yeah, oh, a one nice one going there. on here. Here he goes. Yeah. He's the best in the land. Jackson, coast to coast, blocked by Dickinson, the freshman. That's a good look out of that double ball by the big man. Absolutely. The ball has to continue to go to Dickinson. Owens gets stuffed by Dickinson. The shot clock under 10, though. Jackson's got to make something happen quickly. There is that one-on-one -on -one effort. Because and... he's got every skill. He's ridiculously talented and tough. Had a season-high 20 in their win against Nebraska last time out. That one pinned against the backboard by Dickinson. Kofi Coburn on either of these teams. Yes, he's in team number three. That'll be our second matchup between three and four. So, good chance for him to prove himself. Oh, what a block by yeah. Dickinson. Try a straight pass. Davidson for three. No. The Potter crashing the offensive glass. There's Trice. Yeah, these teams are chucking it up. Wall had his shot rejected to put up that jump ball because if you don't do it well then you know everybody's going to be complaining burns floats it air ball see so you here things start to get away from team number two as whoa being aggressive again and I think it's going to be blocked better as well iowa scores better than 86 points per game they're in the top five in so many different offensive categories nationwide great shooters surrounding a guy like garza and Garza unable to we'll get it off of Michigan and here comes Young with Livers on Liddell picked up by Dickinson out on the floor nice defense oh, nice defense indeed and picked up on the deflection final 60 seconds of the first half also they lead uh, they lift Dickinson for the blow by here nice little counter right a big guy 34 to 26 
Trying to guard by Eli Brooks, a terrific defender. And they like to string it out. You can get jump shots. Two shot fakes, step through. And these Michigan guards, they're going to be a lot of concerned Huskers with Dickinson, so they're going to have room to operate. Good look inside. Dickinson able to get over there and recover. To be really impressed, and I want to be drafted. But yet at the same point, it's nice to have a fallback to play for Jawan Howard with one of the best teams in the country. It's running the break for the Wildcats, and he will hand it off to Cobb. Northwestern fortunate again. Franz Wagner back cutting everybody right now. Burns and Sims pick and roll. They get out to Huff. And just short there for Huff. Now they've done a good job of getting the ball to the middle of that 2 2 1 pressure and then pivoting and finding an open man up the lane. Opening half. Hunter Dickinson on Watford off the dribble. Watford, not that time. Dickinson, the rebound. Armour, you making a big impact. 36 rebounds in the ball game. So I believe the game high. Yeah, you can stand up by doing more than just scoring. He's at 13 points. He's been carrying them offensively, but they got a lot of weapons. Both of these teams are extremely balanced as Riley comes up short. And Orange, they're going to hug him. Can't give him space with that southpaw delivery. Short with that freshman, folks. Man knows the game. Really has a real good understanding of what he can do and how he can help his teammates. Just saw a little close up. Let's peek at the back of the jersey. We said with the tape with B A N on it. First three letters of the name is that one's tipped out. And Marcel with a little in and out dribble going up against Dickinson. He's got a couple of blocks tonight. This is a tough match here. Five to shoot. Washington driving in. Blocked partially by Dickinson. Clock at eight. Now he has the mismatch. Works on the seven footer Dickinson. He'll dance with him. Shot clock at three. Out of bounds. Smith had the ball on top. They tried to front. And when you're a grad transfer, you know where to throw the ball in the lob. This is all one on one. I feel great. More than happy to play whatever role he can on this team. Oladapo, not there. And there he is. to help the team. They knew somebody had to do it. And I think they knew that it started on the defensive end. And that's when we saw things change. Good defense. That's what I'm talking about by Dickinson. Nice screen there by Dickinson. Here is Bobner. He has been unusually quiet. You know where I would go. Keep this guy involved in the game. Makes good passes, good decisions, and maybe get Liddell in foul trouble. Are headed to Michigan. Musa Diabate, who is down in your neck of the woods, IMG Academy, Kobe Buckin from Grand Rapids, and Caleb Houston. Richard, they've got a lot of work to do, but there are so many of the big name programs in college basketball, Dick, who are maybe on the right. 12 points and hit four shots. And he has sacrificed his game for the better of the team. Running the show, average 19 shots at Columbia. Dickinson back in, outside, Brown three. He gets another. You know, they may have to start running at him a little bit, maybe with somebody else, get the ball out of his hands. Might be a little early for that, but they got to think about it. Uh, three, no. We'll dig it out. Two consecutive wins for the Wolverines on the road. And both teams are very good getting back, protecting. Here's Dickinson. Quick Charles double. Quick double. And open up an opportunity. Brooks again, three. A heat check may be coming up. Oh, they got what they want here. Brown deep. Picking and popping. You have some guys that aren't accustomed to stretching the floor like that. He's got to get on track. There's that double to Dickinson again. Passing out of it. Finds Rivers with the open three. Scrambling to the three-point line. Looked like there were some opportunities for a race. Brooks will enter to Dickinson. Here comes that double. Extra pass. Fogger on the baseline. What speed from the loop. Your own in front of you. Dickinson, late help. Nice pass up the double team. And Brooks hit him with the high. Workman like their defense has been extraordinary. That early drag now. Dickinson shows it inside. Wagner, nice pretty pass. Here's Dickinson again. Draws the double. Great line the open man in the lay-in for Terrence Williams. A little trap in the corner they like opens up a big kick. Brooks. Nice pass. Right back to him and makes. Try 
to pad those individual numbers a little bit. A shot fake by Mike Smith into his college teammate, then back to Smith. Beautiful give and go. That's good work there by the big man. McClung with the double team. Dickinson finds McClung. Gets an extra pass going down inside. Yeah, that, that was a surprise, especially coming off their overtime heartbreaking loss to Seton Hall. Good action there. Mentality and really look to hunt shots. His 120th game in an Illinois uniform, 100 second start. Good pass inside. G League next season. Player people are most familiar with, you can see right there, Mac McClung. We'll have the ISO cam. He did win the pole, coming at some point here, the three from the corner. Randy, you mentioned deep as well. Getting a lot more minutes of late. Bad to the basket. Can't lose awareness of your own man. them 245 passes in the win over Iowa that's a ton of ball movement I agree I, I think it's fascinating that they track that jumper West led that school to a couple of state championships he's a prolific scorer at Ohio State but he's kind of adjusting to what his role will be as a professional he played a lot of post at Ohio State but of course we got a lot of people showing out into the chat well you know that's the that's the great thing about this game I mean, people love the game of basketball they, they love projecting what these guys can become well, you were hitting on it but it gave Virginia Tech all kinds of issues as Penn State has just been forcing turnovers left and right games he had and the way he did it and that that like you said is the most impressive thing but you know it's just it's been a tough year and see running some high screen and roll with hunter dickinson and that's one of the things he's going to have to establish is that he can be out in space and do some things and he almost falls down there now trying a three-point shot which he did not do much of